we we truly did see everybody eat. Keon Coleman, four catches on five targets, 51 yards. Khalil Shakir, three for three, 42 yards and a touchdown. James Cook involved with the passing game, three catches for 32 yards. Matt Collins, two catches, 25 yards and a touchdown. Velda Scantling with a big 19-yard grab. Curtis Samuel, two for 15. Ray Davis, one for 14. And... The the ball is just all over the place. As a defense, it just makes it so much harder to, you know, key in on what you want to stop. Oh, and don't forget Josh Allen running the ball. Nine carries for 39 yards and two touchdowns. One of them jumping over Buda Baker, who is a very good safety, which makes that play all the more impressive. James Cook on the ground, 19 carries for 71 yards. I made a prediction in the offseason that Ray Davis would overtake James Cook for kind of that running back one role. Don't look like it after week one. Uh, I I stand by that prediction, but James Cook looked good week one. He was blasting through holes. He was making people miss, you know, in, in real tight spaces. For a while there, he was averaging something like nine yards a carry. Obviously came back down to earth as the game, you know, wore on here. But a good day from James Cook. And kind of didn't see a ton from Ty Johnson or Ray Davis in this game. A total of five five carries between them for 20 yards. So I, I feel like we were able to kind of learn a lot about this offense in this game and what it would look like. And I think it becomes kind of all the more impressive that the Bills were able to kind of get through this adversity in the first game of going down at one point seventeen to three, and you have a quarterback with a whole new set of receivers, not very much continuity and very quickly in the first game of the season, it becomes, you know, back to the wall. We got to go start making plays. I will kind of include in here, yes, it's week one. Weird things happen all over the NFL. I don't think the Cardinals are going to be some, you know, powerhouse in the NFC. But you got to beat who's in front of you and... You know, in in a week one, like I said, it it can be really weird. We see the Patriots, who I don't think anybody's really expecting much from this year. Jacoby Brissett is their starter. A couple rookies waiting in the wings. Just a team that hasn't been very good in, in recent history and hasn't really shown much to change that. Um, taking down the Cincinnati Bengals, who... I think most people would have at least making a playoff run, if not a deep one. So all things considered, you know, if the weird stuff is going to happen in week one, I'm glad to just be able to walk away with a one in the win column and not have the weird stuff happen and start the season with a loss. You know, ultimately it's a, it's a long season. You can bounce back from that. You could win, you know, 10, 15 games straight, but when when us as fans wait all off season to see what this is going to look like, you know, measure our expectations and all that, it's it's really hard to to have to stomach a loss the first week of the season. Uh, offensively, Shakir, absolute dog. He's going to quickly become one of my favorite players on this team. It it's. It's such a blended skill set for him. And I heard somebody say this a while back, and I, I can't remember who it was, but they, they comped him to Steve Smith. And just seeing that one catch and run where he absorbs the impact and just keeps going down the field, I, I, I think that's a pretty good comparison. He's not going down. He's fighting for yards. He's getting open. He catches every target thrown his way. I think a lot of people, you know, nationally kind of look at the Bills receiving core and hear us talking about 
expecting big things from Shakir. And, you know, he's not a household name yet. And we saw what he looked like last year down the stretch. And, like, we know why we got excited for it. I think he's going to start putting the rest of the league on notice. And then the the other standout, it has to be Josh Allen here. This was just classic Josh Allen game. You know, putting the T.O. on his back. Offense running through him. He did get a little bit more help in the run game. But I believe he had five pass attempts in the first half. Just the way it went with the fumble that he lost. The points being taken off the board. Just the first half was time of possession was just dominated by the Cardinals. And then we see him come back. He accounts for four touchdowns. Two of them rushing. You know, what's kind of lost just looking at the stat boxes, you know, some of the second and third and longs they end up in due to penalties, which that's a whole nother thing. Year over year with McDermott being this super disciplined, no-nonsense coach, and we continue to get flagged all over the place. And I get it, the refs are flag happy. But a lot of the stuff that was being called in this game was procedural stuff. Something to clean up as, you know, again, a lot more fun cleaning that up with a win under under the belt. But Josh Allen, hell of a game for the most overrated player in the league. I mean, five incompletions on the day, 232 yards, like I said, four touchdowns. And what I think is all the more impressive about that is kind of what I've already talked about. You're doing this with guys that you've never really played live game reps with. There wasn't a ton of action in the preseason. There wasn't, you know, players carrying over from last year. It's it's really just Shakir. And to kind of have their backs to the wall and be able to make these plays and talked about the the long one to Velda Scantling. How about the the long pass to Gian Coleman of Allen just having faith in his rookie receiver and giving him that 50-50 ball and him coming down with it, conver- converting a hurt, huge third down there to keep the drive alive. You know, not a... Not, uh, Crazy eye popping stat day for Keon Coleman, but he led the team in targets and receptions and yards. And this is a player that I thought maybe would be kind of brought along a little bit slower and wasn't necessarily expecting, you know, an absolutely monster rookie season from him. And again, it's one game, but encouraging that. You know, when all the dust settles, that he's able to lead the team in all those categories. 